you guys had a chance uh, to learn a lot, to look at a lot, to see a lot. What, yeah. what did you take away, you know, from the last few days since coming back from Florida? I mean, we learned a lot and we grew from it. Um, we all watched the film together and, you know, saw what uh, we did wrong and we are uh, going to address it this week. You know, actually, we used this week to heal up and, you know, recover. And then, you know, we have a really good football team coming in. No odds in next week, so we got to get ready for them and um, use last week's game as motivation. What exactly did you see looking at tape that you realized you needed to address? Was it was it uh, coming off blocks? Was it recognizing uh, what the defense was going to do? What was it? Well, it was just you know just doing our own job, focus on your job, and that's it. Uh, don't try to do too much. Um, but you know a lot of credit to them; they did a great job of timing up their stunts and. But we also got to anticipate it on a certain down distance, you know, anticipate that they're going to bring something and just, you know, fix up our footwork, tie up our, you know, our hands and, you know, and we're, we're going to fix that. We're going to work from it. Uh, uh, Coach Helfrich talked Sunday. He said he saw some on the film of some older guys maybe trying to overcompensate, you know, guys trying to maybe do too much considering all the, the flux on the line. Is that something you saw either during the game or on tape? Uh, we just got to do our own job. I mean, if. You know, if we're trying to help other guys out, I mean, it's 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 a whole team thing. But we gotta just focus on our job, and you know, that's it. And um, you know, as the offensive line, we gotta play as one unit. We gotta play as you know, one heartbeat. And we're 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 gonna work on that, and we're gonna get it fixed. So obviously, obviously, bye weeks always come in handy. But how important is it for you guys on the line to have this extra time to try to settle things down and figure things out? Uh, it's very important. It's even more important to to just recover, get better, and. Um, learn from last week's game and uh, like I said a lot of credit to Washington State they did a great job of coming in and timing up you know all their stunts all their blitzes and we're gonna fix it and um, it's gonna get done and um, Thursday night next week we're gonna you know come out and play with the you know good sense of motivation has coach Gritwood been been in town this week or has he been out recruiting uh, I think he's been out recruiting uh, so we have coach Bernardi and you know bye week's always a great time for <laughs> leaders older guys on the team to you know, uh, help out and organize practices. And, you know, we have obviously Coach Help and our graduate assistants are here, but they also, you know, expect the leaders on the team to, you know, get the guys going during practice. Yeah, I was going to ask if you know, he's out of town, guys like you and and Jake and Tyler, you know, who's stepping up and how are you, how are you guys sort of taking that player's first role to, to fix those mistakes? I mean, we already did it. We got it done last week with Coach Bernardi. Um, and we just you got to learn from it. And um, this week we... You know, nothing needs to be said as far as firing up, you know, firing each other up and getting each other motivated because, you know, the guys in the O-line room do a great job of, you know, knowing what they did wrong and fixing it. And, you know, that's why my job is pretty easy because they do such a great job of, you know, getting in and watching film and learning from the, from the, from the uh, mistakes. Did you guys get a chance uh, or did you have an opportunity to see Arizona's Hail Mary against Cal? Oh, no, I did it. Uh, but, you know, I heard it was pretty crazy. I heard their fourth quarter comeback was pretty amazing. And, you know, that's, that's just them. They're, they're a great team, and it shows that they can handle adversity. And so that's why we got to be even more prepared for them coming in, Autzen. And um, we all know what happened last year, and uh, we got to come, you know, come in ready. You know, this, the difference between the first half and the second half against Cougars for you guys was really noticeable. Is the communication one of the biggest issues that guys are trying to learn? That you, and, and you get an extra extra week now with the bye week. Does that help there? Um, well, from the second, yeah, it does help a lot. But in the second half, what changed was that we just decided to calm down and you know, do our own job, not work, not uh, try to do too much. And um, and in the second half, we kind of settled down and focused on our game plan, and uh, we made it more simple, and it, and it worked. And uh, I don't know how many sacks we gave up in the second half, but you know, like I said, a lot of credit to their defense. They did a great job. And now we just learn from that game, learn from mistakes, and we grow from it.